I've been having trouble with my jet pump and I've done a lot of watching of YouTube videos and I never found one that quite covered the problem I was having. For more than a year my pump has been acting up and here's what it does. Um, you'll be running water in the sink or wherever and everything will be fine and then the water flow will just trickle away to nothing. The pump will not kick in. If you're a patient and you wait a minute or so, the pump will then kick in and you'll have water flow restored. Everything will be normal. The pump will uh, run for a minute or two and then shut itself off as it should. And the cycle would repeat. As you continue to run water, the water would trickle off. Eventually there'd be no water and then you'd have to wait for a minute or two until the pump would come back on and you'd have water again. This got to be very annoying in that the interval where you had to wait for the pump to come on and restore the flow of water was increasing steadily and it actually got to the point where you'd have to wait six minutes, seven minutes for the water to come on. I couldn't tolerate that anymore so it was time to finally do something about it. I did find YouTube videos that suggested this problem can be caused by a blocked capillary or pressure tube that runs from the pump to the uh, pressure switch and this made perfect sense um, so I finally I took that tube apart and sure enough it was it was pretty plugged up with with gunk so I thought I'd replace the tube and uh, buy a new pressure switch because the pressure switch had a lot of corrosion on it I'll show you that a little later and I thought a new switch would probably solve the problem. It did not. I replaced the tube and the switch. The tube looked perfectly clear inside. It was clear plastic tubing so I could see there was nothing in it. The old tube was pretty pretty cruddered up. But the pump acted more or less the same except it got even worse in that you had to wait for the pressure to fall to zero before the, the, the pump would come on but then the blasted thing would not shut itself off and it was uh, climbing to potentially dangerous levels to your the health of your plumbing system it was getting up to 72 pounds before it would shut off which is certainly not what the pressure switch was set off the pressure switch was brand new came from the factory supposedly set to cut in a 30 pounds per square inch and cut out 50 pounds per square inch pretty standard but it wasn't working Despite the fact it was a new switch and the tube was clear, the pump was still acting wonky. So I finally decided that drastic measures were called for and I went out, I resigned myself to the fact that I need a new pump. Um, so I went out and I bought a new pump. I installed the new pump and everything is fine. Um, so I took the old pump apart and now I'm going to show you what I found in the old pump. It's not pretty. So here is the old pump in question. It has uh, been in service for 19 years, 8 months. Because yes, I do keep track of these things. Until about a year ago, it served me fairly well. And I had no complaints. But then the problems that I mentioned started cropping up. Um, the pressure switch that is presently attached to it uh, this is the new switch that I tried and this is the new tube running to the uh, the, the pressure switch port and uh, the original one was pretty cruddered up this is the uh, the original pressure switch you can see a lot of corrosion on it and what's left of the tube that I cut off is uh, full of pretty rusty looking stuff um, I took the jet off the pump. It's sitting propped up on paper towels at the moment. I'm doing this with one hand. I'm not some fancy YouTuber. I gather you can discern that already. So we'll take that out. And this is what the jet looked like. You can see all of the corrosion up and through there. It's a mess. Looking inside the pump, 
if I can do that here, um, I'll shine a light in there. You can see that there is a lot of corrosion, but you can see the impeller back in there. The impeller apparently manages to keep itself free because it runs several times a day, so it never actually gets bound up. But what I am assuming happened is there's so much corrosion in this pump that the pressure switch was never getting the proper reading at the, uh, at the, the port back here. It just wasn't... The pressure what there was not reflecting what was really going on inside the pump. So, after nearly 20 years, I guess it was time for a new pump. And the new pump, which is over here, seems to have solved all of these nasty problems. So, the reason I made this, uh, this YouTube video was I wasn't able to find a, a video on YouTube that really addressed my problem. They were all focused attention on the pressure switch itself and the tube connecting the switch to the pump body. But replacing that tube and uh, the switch itself was just wasted time and effort for me. And the problem lay within the pump itself do all of the corrosion that was in there after after nearly 20 years. So if you're having this problem that your water is trickling away to nothing and your pump is refusing to kick in, yes the first thing to look at is it, it could be the pressure switch that only makes sense but it might not be that simple. It wasn't that simple for me.